welcome back to my channel another new video in this video we are continuing the data structures algorithms bootcamp and we're doing a very important question so i have started doing some very important questions for the tree data structure like some advanced questions we're continuing the playlist in order so if you check out the playlist link in the description below it's exactly in order you can you can follow the exact same order without shuffling it and uh, yeah that's what we're doing so in this video we're going to do a question that was asked in the google phone screen so very important question 11000 close to 12000 thumbs up on lead code hard question it says hard on curly braces it is not a hard question it's just a bit uh ooh, it's not it's not hard so let's do this question um what is the question but yeah uh, before we move forward with that check out the links in the description below for the code and assignments and previous lectures and everything um i think my video was paused for a second but it's fine i'm not that pretty so you don't have to see me the important thing is that you can see the screen and the screen is not hanging so that's the important thing right okay um let's talk about it word ladder let's see what the question is a transformation sequence from word begin word to word end word using a dictionary word list Dictionary word list is a sequence of words. Okay, Ev such that these are the conditions. Every adjacent pair of the words differ by a single letter. Okay, every s of i is okay. It should be in the word list, and the last one in the series has to be the end word. Given two words, begin word and end word. Uh, return the number of words in the shortest transformation sequence from begin word to end word or zero if no such sequence is possible okay so for example you are given the word hit and you are given the end word cog and you are given these list of words so you have to make hit from hit you have to make cog but you can only change you can only change one letter at a time so if you start from hit okay if you start from hit you can select hot because it's changing only one letter which is i then you check hot and then you can select uh, dot because it is only changing one letter which is d then you can select uh, dog which is only changing one letter which is t then you can select cog which is only changing one letter which is this d1 and the cog is the end word that we need so we reached cog in how many words one two three four five words okay simple that's the problem how do we solve this what do we do pause this video think about it think about what we're doing and then we'll get started so how are we going to solve this question um let me first write the question down. So this same one we can take hit, uh, cog and the list, entire list that we have over here. Hope you can see the screen. So my words, oh. the words that I have, where is it? There we go the words that I have <clears throat> what are the words that we have hot dot dog lot wagera wagera oh sorry that was Hindi for etc etc I keep forgetting that this is English only channel but anyway we had dot we had hot we have dog we have a lot we have a log we have a cog so from hit i have to create cog cog okay this is my starting word and ending word so what you're going to do is think about it you have to select every every adjacent word should only differ every adjacent word should only differ in one character we're going to use a BFS approach, but for search, because we'll be using a queue. Okay. 
so starting put this entire thing in a set so it's easy to look up easy to look up and what i would do is i would uh, put in the queue i will put in the queue my first word which is hit and i will take a length answer initially that is zero i will put hit in it i will remove hit from the queue and i will add all the elements uh all the i will add all the so when i added hit in it i will actually increment it by one whenever you add it increment by one and uh, when i remove hit i will add all the other items that differ by one what all items in the set differ by, differ by one character hot only so i will add hot in it so that is sequence two for now now i will remove hot and i will add all the items that differ one by hot so there is dot and there is lot so i will add dot in it and i will add lot in it size 3 then i will remove dot and i will add one that remains the only one character that is empty sorry not empty only one character that differs from dot dog dog you do know what differs means right so what is the one character difference so in dog in dot i can replace t with g so it will make dog and I have dog over here. I cannot make it. And also I have to remove these items. So I can't add multiple items. So I will keep removing also. So I, I added hit. I added hot. Hot will be removed. Dot. Dot will be removed. Lot. Lot will be removed. Dog is added. Dog will be removed. Okay, then I will remove lot. So what is one uh, character difference? Word. Cog is not one because it has two character differences, C and G, but log is. So I will add log over here. Okay, increment it by one. All right, then I will remove dog. And I will add cog over here actually i will not add cog because i have already found cog so cog is my last element so the destination element so i found cog um oh, this will be five i found cog so no this will be four only because i did not add cog so i found cog i will just return this plus one answer plus one five is the answer correct so create the set use the queue uh, using a bfs approach because uh, you know think about the intuition we have to do word lookup we have to check that only one character difference should be there so what is going to be the time complexity space complexity is o of n for the number of words because that's the number of words we are storing but if we have the length let's say length of the word is called if is m and uh, for every word we are checking in the set which is the word that is uh, one difference so this into this so n into n n squared and we are doing it for every character also n squared into m that's the complexity Now, if this is not clear, it will be more clear when I code it. Okay. Time complexity. It's very simple because for every word I'm checking, how many words are there that differ by one? So every word I will be checking in the worst case. So that's n, n into n. And whenever I'm checking, I'm checking each character. So multiplied by m, which is the total character. O of n is 
the space let's code it it will be making much more sense okay um so let's see how we're going to solve this question here i have lead code copy this create a new file it's called ladder uh what's the name of the problem word ladder mm. public int ladder length whatever whatever okay by the way the code can be found in the description below you can run it on your system directly on your browser and let's see how we can do this so int ladder length uh i have my begin word end word and word list okay okay so let's start to code this here i can say that first of all base condition and i will have my this thing side by side so you can see the base condition if end word is not in the list okay word list dot contains what end word okay in that case just return zero i have to create a set you can call these all the visited ones new hash set not a problem i will create a queue of type string just call it short queue new link list and i will add the first begin word in it okay i will take a length zero for now same breadth for search while q is not empty i will take the size which is q dot size and i will increase the length by one and i will add all the i will check for every element so what are we doing over here uh, i'm removing that many number of items it's it's breadth for search nothing new for int i is equal to zero i is less than size and i plus plus i will get my current string which is just remove from the queue so i remove hit from the queue when i have removed hit this current is hit for example i will check in the remaining set all the items that all the items that differ by one character so what I can do is, what I can do is, uh, all the items for int j is equal to 0, j is less than for all the characters, for example, current dot length and j plus plus for every character I will check. So for char ch is equal to let's say I start from a, c is less than equal to z, c plus plus. I will try to change the character um, that I have taken. For hit h, I will try to change it by let's say ait, and then I will check if ait exists over here. If it doesn't, check for bit, cit, dit, eit. And then similarly, do H A T H B T H C T, and then do H I A H I B H I C H I D H I E, so on and so forth. Do you get it? So, temp of if I create a, I will have to create a character of character array temporary. Okay, this will be current dot two cat char array i will say temp of j is equal to this character then check new word is equal to what new string temp okay i hope you're able to understand this i found hit i will change the zeroth index of the hit hit with all the characters so first i will check for ait bit cit dit 
if it exists over here in my set. After that, I will check for H A T H B T. After that, I will check for H I A H I B. So every index in my word, I will replace with all twenty six characters of the English alphabet. Okay, if this new word equals my end word. I have found my answer, and that is length plus one. I can say otherwise. If the word list contains the new word and it is not visited, like I've already not visited it, in that case, add it in queue and. Remove and uh, also add it from visited. Like I have visited this. You can also do it white words and start removing it, but this is fine. If nothing else works in the end, return zero means there is no answer. And that's it. That's it. So that's why the complexity. This will be constant as as it is because uh, this is like a fixed number of characters twenty six, but we're doing this for m. So this m multiplied by outer two loops, so n into n. So n, so this is n cross m times n. So this this entire thing see is m. It is inside a for loop, so m multiplied by number of times this for loop is running, which is n. So n into m multiplied by number of times this loop is running, n. n into m into n, n squared m is the time complexity. Oh, that's it. Problem solved. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for watching. You can find the code in the description below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And um, yeah, keep following the playlist. Work hard. Good luck for your interviews. Any questions you have, any suggestions you have, let me know in the comments. Uh, links, code, everything, previous videos, uh, assignments can be found in the description below. If you want to support the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Join the Learning Public Initiative. You can take a screenshot and share with hashtag DSA with Kunal on socials. And um, yeah, check out the previous videos, those are very good, new videos are coming and have fun.